All right, Zay Flowers is here. He's here with my cl- my cause, my cleats, call of duty. Big win on Monday night for the Baltimore Ravens, one of the hottest teams in the NFL. Zay, what's going on, man? Nothing much. Chilling, man. Chilling. Just got back home. Just, just, just glad we got a win, man. Just glad we got a win. How good is that overnight west to east flight when you have a win like that? The first 30 minutes, everybody up, everybody happy, everybody <laughs> party. And then the last four hours, everybody knocked out. Everybody sleep. <laughs> Can you sleep on planes after it went like that? Last night I did. Yeah. <laughs> last okay. night I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to ask you a couple of questions about this team and obviously uh, a lot of momentum after Monday night, but certainly in, in this season, uh, I, I, I want to start here. You had a play last night, Lamar Jackson's downfield blocking. Like when you see a downfield block from a quarterback, we saw a Baker Mayfield on Sunday too, but to have a downfield blocking quarterback says what about the quarterback say? That he all in, <laughs> like he all in for the team, but what's so funny he always tell us like, bro, I could do everything. I could run, I could throw it, like I could block, like put me at running back, like. But we take it as a joke. But he he actually serious, like he actually out there trying to block. Like last night, I ain't even know he was trying to block for me. I just seen the same color, so I just kept running. And then when I got back to the sideline, he was like, "Dang, you should have cut back. I was trying to block for you." I was like, "You trying to block for me? Like what you mean? He was trying to block for me." He was like, "Yeah, I was running next to you." I was like, "That was you running next to me?" And he was like, "Yeah." <laughs> So next time you'll follow when he's blocking, you'll follow him next time. Oh no, I don't know if he's good at blocking, but I, I might, I might follow him. But I, I trust him. I trust him enough. <laughs> oh man, um, I want to get back to that in a second. But I want to talk about your development as a receiver a little bit. Um, I don't think people know. So I'm from Orlando. I went to University of Miami. I understand Florida high school football. I understand the optimist, Pop Warner, whatever you want to call it. How does being a South Florida? receiver especially a skill guy on the outside how does that develop you when you're down there playing against cornerbacks we're going to go play d1 cornerbacks we're going to go play uh uh in the nfl i mean i remember an interview years ago even though he was in palm beach county like anquan bolden saying like you know he was there were guys who were nfl athletes who didn't even end up playing in high school you know just like a different type of deal um explain what that's like like down there as a kid like as you got done saying is like the game so fast, like everybody in Florida, for their age, they move faster than they are. Like they they move faster than they should be moving. So it teaches you the game faster. It teaches you every year you go to another level, it teaches you to move faster. So when I got to high school, when I got to college, my first year, it was a, like, it wasn't fast. It was just, it's, I'm fresh to it. Like, yeah. But I'll say by game five or six, the game slowed down. And I think it's because of how we play football in Florida so fast. And, everybody being good at their position, especially the skill position. So that helped me develop faster than I think than a lot of people. Who were the guys in South Florida when you were down there, Florida in general, who impressed you the most at the, whether that's pop, pop uh, optimist, pop, pop high school, like where you were like, Oh my God, guys who, who we know now. Bro. There's so many Lamar Jackson, yeah. Jerry yeah. Judy, Calvin yep. Ridley, uh, Elijah Moore. Um, Amari Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bro, it's so many that like I, I watched crazy. all of them. I watched all of them. Tyler Huntley. Yeah. Um, he had the receiver with him, Benjamin Victor. Yeah. Um, we had the linebacker, Devin Bush. Like every it was it was it's so many people, man. Pat Sertain, Tyson Campbell, like you name it. It's every school got somebody that's playing five that that's that's in the league or that's playing great. The, the, the story I always tell about high school football down in South Florida is that uh, when I was in college, Miami took seven kids from Northwestern High School. Okay, They'd won yeah. the state championship, all right? Ja'Cory Harris, Sean Spence, a bunch of guys who ended up in the league. Uh, good class. But the eighth guy they did not take was Levante David. And it's like, that guy's going into Canton. So it's like, you can have a team where seven guys go to Miami and the eighth guy ends up in Canton and then Super Bowl yeah. teams. Like, yeah. that's South Florida football. It's so crazy because two of my best friends, they was five stars. Yeah. And, and I want my dad loved Miami. I wanted to go to Miami so bad mm. that my friends was like, if y'all offer Zay, we we all go. <laughs> they, they didn't. And so we all went to different schools. <laughs> yeah. I forgot who no. coaching staff it was. I think it was my sophomore year, junior year in yeah. high school. And they ain't take me. Yeah. That was a so mistake. That story is basically the same story. Like you just like. That happened to me. 
<laughs> I ended up in Boston, though. <laughs> yeah, it all worked out. It all worked out for you, Perfect. not for me, not for us. But let's yeah. that's, we'll, we'll, we'll put a pin in that. Hey, so you put a chain on Lamar Jackson uh, yesterday. and Top and 10. Said, top it's 10, been... and then he said uh, top two, not two. So I assume playing with him, being friends with him, having him downfield block for him, that you think he's the best quarterback in the NFL? Easy. Okay, so explain to me, make the case as I mean, there's a lot of good quarterbacks in the NFL. If I'm asking you to make the case, if I'm the if I'm the MVP committee, if I'm the only voter, why is Lamar Jackson the best quarterback in football? I mean, you know, Patrick Mahomes can do everything too, but this man, like, this man literally his first year, he took a team that was not winning to the playoffs. Like, I think the team was what, four and seven or four and eight, took him to the playoffs. Became the youngest MVP the next year after that. And after that, he just, like, he I don't think he had a losing season. Like, the other side can't beat him. The NFC yeah. can't beat him. I mean, you got to play him more than one time if you want to really know who he is. To beat him, you got to play him more than one time. Like, this man, make, week in and week out, he going to make the best plays in the NFL. And that's just that's just who he is. Like, I don't think he have a level. I don't think he have a ceiling. Like, yeah. every week he do something or say, Damn, I didn't know he could do that. Like, they just show you how, like, he get better and better each week. He do something, he show you something, like, that lets you know, like, he the best in the league. Like, it's really hard to stop him. You got Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack on both sides trying to sack him. And he's just still forming him, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's not normal, bro. It's not normal. Like, he ain't got the, like, we ain't got the ring yet to prove it. But we gonna go get on one. And then we can start making, like, everybody will start believing us. I, I completely agree. Do you feel, and listen, everybody wants a ring. You just said we're going to get them one. Everybody feels a pressure to win a ring for themselves, but also just a part of that is justifying his greatness. And as you said, making sure that everybody knows he's, he's the best quarterback. Yeah. Cause it's great. It's great. It's a lot of greats that don't have rings. Yeah. So we get him one. We just solidify him as the great, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think he's the best quarterback. It's a lot of people that think he's the best quarterback, but a lot of people judge it by rings and yeah. a lot of people judge it by other things. So yep. I just, you know, I, I, that's who I know the best quarterback in the league is. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Hey, uh, I'm curious. You guys went for it on fourth and one from their own 16 last night. And obviously that's something even before you got there that, that John Harbaugh wanted to do. He wanted to go forth. He wanted to empower the offense. How much does it, and listen, I don't think, maybe you will go, you know, it's going to be Mark Andrews, it's going to be Derrick Henry, it's going to be Lamar Jackson, and those sort of fourth and one uh, situations, probably not going to be a deep bomb to Zay Flowers or something like that, but you do, <laughs> you are involved in some fourth downs. Like, when you're watching that, and, and Coach Harbaugh wants to go for it, and Todd Munkin calls those plays, how much does it empower you guys when you go for it on fourth down? Because people like me, like, I'm into analytics and all that stuff, like, I've been saying we should go for it all the time on fourth down. But now John Harbaugh understands you guys can get that yard. How much does that fire you guys up? Man, just just him believing in it. And I know we're going to get it because who we got. Like, you got so many options to get the first down. You can give it to anybody on the field on our team to get the first down. So us going for it is like, we better get this. Like, <laughs> it, it, it shouldn't even be a chance that they stop us. So we always think we're going to get it. It's, it's never a doubt in our head that we're not getting it. And just having Lamar back there is almost – but I, I say a 75, 25 chance <laughs> yeah. of us getting it and then having Derek Henry give us a little bit more. So it's just, hey, man, we we believe in ourselves. We believe in our team and Coach Harbaugh believe in us. So he put it in our hands. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with that. Hey, um, obviously, young players are always just trying to make a leap one year to the next. Is there something that you feel like you've worked on that you've gotten better at just from this time last year, maybe? I'll say... Um, um, slowing the game down. Like last yeah. year, I didn't really know everything. You know, it's, it, it come with experience. So last year, I was I feel like I was rushing, um, making too many moves and doing too much instead of just running straight. And this year, I've been trying to run straight more. You know, <laughs> because yeah. everybody say I always cut, cut, cut back and do a lot of moves. So just being able to like to learn the defenses and having more experience under my belt and slowing the game down a little bit more. So that's what's been helping me this year. Yeah. Um, you mentioned the, obviously the ring stuff and obviously you guys, I, I've had Lamar on this show before and he's talked about using those sort of losses in the playoffs as motivation. How do you view it? Do you think about 
the Chiefs game a lot last year? Do you try to turn the page? Like, how do you view, you know, when you're working out in South Florida, you know, and, and hey, we're going to do one more rep because we want to beat that team? Or or do you just kind of block it out and, and keep it going forward? I mean, it ain't just about one team. It's a bigger picture because you never yeah. know who you're going to meet at the end of the year. You never know what team going to be standing in front of you in the AFC Championship round one, round two. Yeah. You never know who it's going to be. So I'm just preparing myself for all, like, all, like, the great moments where yeah. I got to be great or where I where the team going to need me. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't just about one team because, you know, whoever there, we're going to have to handle anyway. So I can't say I'm about to run this route. Like, I'm about to play the Chiefs because it right. might not be the Chiefs or it might not be the Texans or the Steelers. Like, you never know who it's going to be because it's football. You can go out and lose any week. Like, you playing the best of the best week in and week out. So you just got to prepare yourself for the big moments and just being ready. A lot of the, uh, I saw a stat that you guys were throwing after three and a half seconds yesterday. So obviously you have to learn to improvise in the middle of the field. You probably haven't done it to that level. I mean, obviously there's a level of improv- improvisation in high school and college, but right now, like you guys are all over the place and you guys have to keep every route live. H- how do you sort of improvise middle of the field, knowing the ball could come your way at any time? Um, my coaches tell us we, uh, we got, we got a two play quarterback. Like, yeah. He he might not, he he might not go down off the sack. Like you probably get him once in a while, but most of the time he getting away. So if I'm running the route, <laughs> it's so funny because if I'm running the route, and I, I don't even have to be looking to know what's going on because I hear the crowd scream like, ah, like, like he almost getting sacked. So by the time I turn, I see him. I see him running around the pocket. So I'm like, all right, which way he going? Like it, it really don't matter which way you go because he can get the ball to you anywhere on the field. So that's when I just start doing my thing. I just start jumping <laughs> around, making moves, like trying to make a miss and try to get open for him. Cause he do a good job of setting them up, running to the line, yeah. throwing it, running to the line, running it. So he do a good job of setting them up and like getting us open. And he made great throws on the run. Like I think those are his best throws, like on the yeah. run and moving around the pocket. That's some of his best throws. Why should you bet with Caesar Sportsbook? Two words, Caesar's Rewards. Every bet brings you closer to the types of benefits only Caesars can offer. Hotel stays, VIP experiences, sports and concert tickets, and more. It's not just an app, it's an empire. If somebody came and said, show me, somebody who had never watched you play, show me a Zay Flowers play at the NFL, like the best you felt on a football field, what play are you bringing them to in the NFL? Uh... That that resembles me. Oh, I yeah. I go with the Broncos. Yep, the Broncos. that's what I was to bring up. Yep. Yeah, I go with that one because it, it showed that my quickness, yeah, showed my ability to run and finish. What my, take me through exactly what you did well in that play? Um, so first set up. I was supposed to like the route was supposed to be flat, but yeah. me and Lamar like we like do we, during the week we talk a lot. So it's like I'm like if the linebacker is high, I'm gonna just take it high, like, and I'm gonna just sit in the pocket. And then he threw it to me. And I'm like, I ain't even know how much time we had on the clock. Right. I think it was like 20 seconds left. Yeah. Yep. I was really supposed to get out of bounds. <laughs> so I'm I'm like, all right, when I catch it, so I catch it facing Lamar. And then I see a defender running towards me. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, all right, I know he right there. And when I turn around, I see one more. Then I see somebody right here. And I'm like, all right, let me see what I can do. And then I take it. And then I fake inside and I <laughs> stiff form. And the stiff form kind of like gave me a little yeah. bounce off. And then I'm like, I see the sideline. I'm like, oh, I'm about to score. I might score. <laughs> and then I just finished it from there. But I do a lot of setup. Like I, I, I see where defenders are and I use it to my advantage. Like, all right, by the time I catch the ball, he'll be here. Yeah. And this defender will be here. So I know what moves I'm going to make before. And I know what I got to do to pick up yards, to pick up the first down or to try to go score. Yeah, it just feels like the entire team's built like that. Like, Lamar's good at that, like, using guys' uh, momentum against them, like, understanding where everybody is. It seems like the team is built not only on speed and toughness, but also just, like, body control. Yeah, absolutely. I think everybody on our team got great body control. Me, yeah. Mark, especially yeah. Isaiah Likely, his yeah. body control is crazy. And yeah. um, Bate got great body control. Um, DN got great body mm-hmm. Like, everybody on our team can break tackles and keep the play going. So... That's, yeah. what, that's what make our group special because you can give it to us anywhere and we can make something happen. I completely agree. All right, we do something called badasses along those lines. Most badass player you've ever played with. Could be at any level of football, but I, the way I always say it is like, you know, if somebody wants the definition of a football player, you're bringing them to who's that? 
our whole office. <laughs> <If I'm laughs> honest, our whole office. But if I I can't really pick one because it's yeah, bro, it's two people and it's not even Lily that they was a badass. It's not even like it's the NFL that they being okay. a badass, and that's the hardest level to be a badass in. And it's Derek Henry and Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Like, those yep. are probably the best two players I ever played with. And, you know, in Lily, it's easy to have a good player to go score five times, six times. But they do, they're do doing this in the NFL with the best of the best week in and week out. So it got to be those two. Like, I'm, yeah. bringing, I'm bringing everybody to those two off rip. Roquan Smith, too. Yep. And Kyle yep. Hamilton. Yep. Big, you got yeah. a lot of them in Baltimore. Yeah, what's, yeah. The, what's the play that has made the biggest impact in your mind that you've seen from Derrick Henry up play close? Where, like, either he trucked a guy or he just went through a tackle. Like, the the what's wh- when did you know Derrick Henry was different on the field? We played the Cowboys. Well, I mean, first game, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because I see the way he worked. I see the way he practiced. And then what really solidified it was the Bills. One yeah. play, 90, 87 or 90, something like that. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, first play of the game, I'm coming out like, all right, he going to pick up 10. I think he going to do something. I'm knowing he going to do something. But I ain't thinking he going to do that. <laughs> so I'm just like kind of like jogging off the ball. And then I see him just split. I'm like, yo, this man different. Like, now I'm chasing him. Like, in my head, I'm just like, yo, he different. Like, he different. Well, do, do you sense defenses are just like, come on. Like, where you have to stop Lamar and Derek. Do you, do you look over oh, sometimes yeah, and see absolutely. linebackers being like, oh, Jesus. Absolutely. They helped me out. Like, them running, Lamar running, like, all that, like, that just give me more freedom to just run yep. around in the back end and just make plays. So, yep. they make my job easier, man. Like, so all my success, all my stuff, I give it to everybody on our team. That's that's awesome. Um, rapid fire, best cornerback you faced in the NFL? Yeah, Ramsey. Tell me why. He a vet, man. He know, he trusts his, he trusts his technique. He trusts in what he do. And, you know, he big, tall, physical, fast. He got everything. Yeah, yeah I've, I've heard that before. Uh, hardest hit you've taken in the NFL so far? Um, I'll say my first game of the season, Perriman, hit me in the shoulder. Had a shoulder, shoulder for like two weeks. <laughs> we played the Texans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I've heard that before. That's a South Florida guy. Yeah, yeah. He, was like, <laughs> he kept telling me, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Like, Bro, <laughs> you're not tackling me. Because the first two times he tried to tackle me, I broke him. I broke him off. He was like, I'm going to get you. Yeah, um, that, that that's awesome. Uh, we did two more things. Number one, most surprising thing about you. Are there hobbies, TV shows? Like if, say, if you wanted to surprise somebody, what, what are you saying? Really? Yeah. How did you learn that? Uh, my best friend, he taught me right in the eighth grade. When we was in the eighth grade, he ended up teaching me how to serve because he had a beach in his backyard. So he was teaching me, teaching me. Then he took me to Hawaii on a family trip, and I learned there. That's sick. Do you, you still yeah. do it a lot? No, nah, I can't. Nah, oh, okay. I can't risk this. I can't risk it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Retirement. 15 years from now, you can go yeah. to Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, what we do something called one rep back. You get to take any play, it could be any, from any level of football. Uh, you get to redo it, do it different, do it better. What play are you doing? You already know what play I'm doing. You already know what play I'm taking. The AOC what championship. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that one gotta go back. <laughs> yeah. What man. happened there? Bro, he made a good play. Like, yeah. when I caught it, I'm like, because when, when I first when I released off the route, he spent out. Like, he spent out, and he was running through the end zone. And, like, I got the ball on the other half, so he was able to build up speed. And mm-hmm. when I finally caught the ball, I got vertical. And usually, like, when you're close to the end zone, you got, I had, I had Bolton, and I had number 20. Mm-hmm. It's like the two hardest hitters on the team. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not running through them. Right. Like, I'm not running through them. So I'm like, usually if you dive at people's feet, they're kind of like, kind of like back up and like push you. Like, they're not going to really try to go down with you. And when I dove at their feet, they did exactly that. Like, you can see them on the tape, like, kind of like, but Jerry Sneed, like, came from the yeah. side. You know, he tall. He tall as hell. Yeah. Like, he jumped and went to go tackle me. I don't really think he tried to punch out the ball. I think he just tried to tackle me. And I tried to reach it, and I seen him late. So when I, when I tucked it back a little bit, his arm hit the ball, and I'm like, and it was just that. It was, the man made a good play. I can't take it from him. You know, it's the NFL. Everybody great. Yep, yep. And as we talked about earlier, you'll get another chance to make big big plays in big games, is, Absolutely. Uh, is Absolutely. my guess. All right, tell us what you're doing with Call of Duty Endowment. 
Um, Call of Duty Endowment. You know, I'm working with Veteran. I'm working with Shelby Cross. Yeah. Um, you know, they they the endowment is they they placing veterans in high quality, high paying jobs. And over since 2009, they had 140 thousand. That's like that's double the size of MIT Bank. So imagine putting 40, wow. 140 thousand MIT Bank. How loud that'll be? Because we got <laughs> 70 thousand, and that's loud. So being able to work with them yeah. and being able to do the things that I'm doing, it's a blessing come true because I've been playing Call of Duty since a kid. Yep. And one of my biggest things in life, I like I like to give back. I like to, yep. no matter what it is, kids, veterans, um, you know, children's hospitals, um, cancer, you know, whatever I can do, I try to give back because I feel like that's the, that's the best thing to do in life is give back. And because I was on my way up to – all the way to the NFL, people was helping me. People was giving back to me. And I just wanted to be able to re replicate that and give back. Love that. Love Call of Duty Endowment. Love Zay Flowers. Thanks so much, man. Yes, sir. Thank you.